What's going on guys? This is Shinpak bringing you guys another Wi-Fi battle. I had a blast at Apex, just got back. It's snowing outside, so it's the perfect opportunity for me to upload a Wi-Fi battle. Had school today, so unfortunately there's not going to be a lot of opportunities for me to actually upload these Wi-Fi battles. But they'll definitely be more frequent than when I had school in the fall because I was taking 6 classes as opposed to the 4 classes that I am taking this semester. So I lead out with Charizard, switch out into my uh, Landers T to uh, take on the Amapom. He goes for the fake out and I guess he just switches out immediately and decides to go out into his uh, Aegislash which is definitely a really really weird play. I just go for the U-turn immediately. I mean Aegislash... Um, it definitely cannot take an- I mean it can take an Earthquake, but it's gonna be 2-8 KO, so I don't really- <laughs> That was a weird play on his part, and, uh, I guess he was predicting the U-turn, which was definitely bold of him. Uh, so right here, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff on the Aegislash. I don't have foul play on this thing. I wish I did. I do have Toxic over foul play, but I never had the opportunity to breed foul play onto Mandibuzz because I thought it was a 5th gen only tutor move. So, uh, Gulpin, I was very really surprised that too, as to uh, why he didn't go for it, or why the item wasn't knocked off, but then I realized that this thing does have sticky hold, so uh, it's going to be able to maintain its item through the knockoff. So he's going to go for the Toxic on my Tarantar, that's fine. And at this point, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rock to uh, just prevent him from being able to switch freely between his Pokemon and just ensure that I do get some... Uh, KOs on some Pokemon that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get obviously so my Tyranitar is poison so I still have a use for it because I don't want the uh, poison racking up so I am just going to switch out into my Landers who will be able to take on the Gulpin really really well because obviously I have the Earthquake which will definitely be able to Oko it but uh, he decides to switch out into his Aegislash right there again he switches in his Aegislash on a Pokemon Vol like that can it's very very vulnerable to crunch and is vulnerable to earthquake but uh he just does it anyways i don't understand what he's uh trying to do there but i do have rest on my landerus and i know that uh, mandibuzz will be able to take shadow sneaks for days so i'm just gonna go out into it it's not gonna take any damage from sand because of the overcoat and uh this aegislash is as good as dead because i don't believe he has a defogger on his team nor does he have a rabbit spinner so I will be able to knock out this uh, Age Slash one way or another. And uh, it is gone. So uh, that's pretty good for me. I get the early lead. And uh, most of my Pokemon are pretty healthy. My Tarantar is poisoned. Uh, and my Landers is weakened. But I do have rest on it. So it's not too big of a deal. Goes out into a Greninja. And uh, most of my teams do not have a Greninja switch in. Most teams in general do not have a Greninja switch in. Unless you have a Rotom Wash and the Greninja does not have HP Grass, but most Greninjas do carry HP Grass nowadays to hit that uh, Rotom Wash for around 80% with the uh, Protein Life Orb HP Grass. So he's going to go for two Ice Beams to be able to knock me out, but not before I do get a bit of damage off with the knockoff. And now I'm going to go out into my Scarf Keldy, will be able to outspeed his Greninja and knock it out with a Secret Sword. So... Uh, he did knock out my Mandibuzz, but Mandibuzz was, uh, did not have as much utility as, uh, it could have because his Aegislash, I mainly wanted to use it for his Aegislash, and since that's gone, there wasn't really a need for it, especially since, uh, I did get off a bit of damage on his, uh, Greninja, so I could, uh, not have to worry about it as much. He's gonna go for the Fake Out, and I, he just stays in with his Amapom, not too sure of, uh, why he did that he has a perfectly healthy Rotom that he could have gone into but uh since I did knock out his Amapom I don't really have a need for Keldeo right here so I'm just gonna go for the secret sword to get a little bit of prior damage on his Rotom as he goes for the T-Wave all right <laughs> and then he goes for a Hydro Pump uh this play might seem a uh, bad uh, initially but it was actually a pretty good play because I am paralyzed he will be able to set up on me with his next Pokemon which is Charizard and he could easily stay in his uh, regular form until he mega evolves into the X because he does resist Secret Sword. And since I am Scarfed, I will not be able to touch it. So I'm going to immediately switch out into my Landers so that uh, if he goes for Dragon Dance, he will get the uh, minus one attack. Uh, and just go back to neutral after the plus one from the Dragon Dance. But right here, he just immediately goes for the Outrage. So I question why he went for the Thunder Wave in the first place because he would have just knocked down my Keldeo and had a Rotom. <laughs> 
he would have just had a nice clean Rotom to be able to take on uh, one of my other Pokemon. So I'm really not too sure why he did that. He just immediately went for the Outrage. So now we got Battle of the Titans, Charizard X versus Charizard Y. My Charizard Y is shiny, but uh, he's got the uh, type advantage right here because he does resist the uh, Fire Blast that I do have. And uh, he is just going to go for the Outrage since he is locked into it. And I know that I'm going to be able to live it because he is at minus one, but that does a ton of damage. And uh, I'm hoping that an Earthquake will be able to take it out, but I am modest and I uh, don't have a... Uh, I think I do have actually 31 uh, attack IV, so that's actually pretty interesting, but I am modest, so do have the attack drop, so I will not be able to KO, and uh, Charizard X does have amazing defenses, so it will be able to tank that. But fortunately for me, I still have the Metagross waiting back, and it will be enough to uh, be able to tank the Outrage from the Charizard X, and uh, unfortunately for him, he does knock himself out with the Confusion. So I don't even get to see how much an Earthquake, or how much uh, Outrage would have been able to do to me, but his last Pokemon is a Gulpin. Gulpin can really not touch my Metagross in any way, shape, or form. I can't get toxic or sludge bombed. Uh, can't really touch me at all. So he's just going to go for Protect. Doesn't even have leftovers. And I'm able to knock him out with an Earthquake. So that was a good game. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.